morning, Kilmer K through eight. This is Mrs. Moses. Today is Tuesday, March second, two thousand twenty-one. Yesterday was a fabulous day. We invited a number of our um, K zero to third graders um, to our lower campus. It was so fabulous seeing students in the building. I mean, this many we have not seen since March of 2020, and it was just absolutely amazing. A number of students came up to me and told me they like my jokes, and you know, my jokes really come from all of you out there, so if you have some jokes you want me to say or share, please send them to me. All right, so as a reminder, our core values are respect, responsibility, and empathy, and we are focusing on respect, as well as the SEL strategy of positive self-talk. And while we are focusing on this, I know all of you are doing this each and every day. I do want to share something that was um, that um, one of our third graders showed um, a positive leader. So yesterday, one of our K-1 students was having a difficult time transitioning um, to her school bus. I think she thought her mom was picking her up from school school when actuality her mom was going to pick her up from the bus stop so she was really upset and um, Reese who is in Miss Henderson's and Miss Cunningham's class really did such a nice job being a positive leader and encouraging her and letting her know it was going to be okay he showed empathy and just responsibility as a positive leader so I just wanted to thank you Reese for your stand-up job and supporting our friend in K-1. I also want to share that March is Women's History Month. Now, Women's History Month started off as a day, celebrated like in, in, on one day in March, and then it, and then it became a week-long celebration. And um, in 1987, Congress passed that um, the month of March would be Women's History Month. And basically, it's to honor and recognize the contributions that women have made to U.S. history and in culture and society. So this month, I'd love to feature um, some of our um, women who have contributed to U.S. history. And if there are women from your own culture that you want me to highlight, because of course there's just so many to choose from, but if you have someone that's special to your culture that you would like for me to highlight during this month, please share some of those names with me. You can email me, you can ask your teacher about how to get them to me, and I would love to feature them. And so I, I would say last but not least, I do want to share a couple of jokes. Um, let's see, the first one comes from Naya, who is in Miss Kern's K-1 class. She sends this joke that says, what does an elf learn in school? What does an elf learn in school? The alphabet. <laughs> How many of you got those, that one correct? The alphabet. Oh, love that one. All right. And then the last one I want to um, share is from Lily, who is in Miss, um, Miss Smith's second grade class and she says why did the ocean what did the ocean say to the beach what did the ocean say to the beach nothing it waved <laughs> who did i get really who did i get <laughs> well thank you naya and Lily for sending those jokes to me. And I need more jokes. I'm starting to run out. So then you're gonna have to hear some of my goofy ones. So um, on that note, I just um, wanna also share that Tuesday, uh, Coach Jonah um, will be doing the um, Playworks. With Playworks, he'll be doing um, recess um, online. So make sure you, if you wanna tune in, that you click the link that's provided by your teachers. And on that note, we love you. We care for you. We are so glad to have students in our building. I mean, a lot of more students in our building with more coming to us on Thursday and Friday. And so we are so happy and blessed for that. 
So to, until we see your faces again, all of you make today and every day a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.